Here's one of the cowboy giants, married, of course, to Dale Evans. We'll never forget his horse, Trigger, how talented that horse was. But Roy was a very gentle, generous man when you sat down and just talked to him. But the greatest cowboy. How long has he been gone? Uh, since 1965. How in the world did you ever teach him? Or did? You, or were you the one who taught him to do all those all things? All these earlier things, but then later on when I got busy, why, uh, I had a trainer with me for many, many years, uh, Glenn Randall. What's the most amazing thing? Triggered to oh, sign he, his name? Yeah, he, uh, we took him in hotel lobbies and uh, <laughs> put a pencil in his mouth, and he'd make a little X there, you know. Yeah. And it worked out real good for publicity. He always hit the front page. <laughs> yeah. And we go into Madison Square Garden, places like that, why uh, you needed that kind of publicity. And uh, he'd just do about anything if you spent enough, you know, a little time with him. He'd lay down, set up, shake hands, count, add, subtract, multiply, you name it. He could do it, smile. And he, he was could, he an exception? Are most are horses smart or no? Uh, they're not that smart, no, but they're individual. They're like, like people, you know, there's some of them, some of us are dumb and some of us aren't. Yeah. Uh, horses are... Uh, basically the same they have actually have two sets of brains which people don't realize uh, you, you can train a horse and you uh, the old saying you never mount a horse from the right side because it, you're always saddling from the left side right. and you always get on and off at the left side so that's where the action is. And, yeah that's where the action is and you walk on the other side of a horse that have and you haven't been over there it's strange to him yeah and uh, I could uh, all the tricks trigger could do you you work on the left side all the time and I could walk around on the right side and give him the same cues. He'd stand there like an idiot, you know. But uh, uh, everything that's, uh, if you balance them when you're, when you're training them, uh, that's the reason uh, they turn out so good. You, What's you your favorite breed of horses over the years, Roy? Uh, well, a Palomino, of course, isn't a breed. It's a color. A color, right. But uh, I don't know. Trigger was half their bread, and uh, his uh, dam was a, a cold-blooded Palomino. And the first picture he worked in, he was three years old. And, and He'd been he, in movies, yeah, before you had him. Yeah, yeah. he did a picture with, with uh, Olivia de Havilland. Olivia right? de Havilland in the, in the Robin Hood, I believe it was. <laughs> and uh, I saw him at that time. And when I got ready to make my first picture, I, all of the uh, stables brought their cast horses out to the studio. And uh, I had to get on different ones. And I think Trigger's about the third or fourth one I got on. I never looked anymore. That was it. And that was it. And, and they uh, sold him to you. Yeah, they yeah. sold him a little later on. They sold him to me. Do you recall those uh, first couple of movies with Gene Autry? Yeah, yeah. We, um, I was with the Sons of the Pioneers. That was my uh, how I got into show business, uh, organizing the Sons of the Pioneers. And we were on radio, and uh, we'd made a bunch of transcriptions, and they were playing all over the country. And uh, so we started getting requests to do uh, musical backgrounds for pictures, and uh, Gene's was one of them. And the Old Corral, and we went to Dallas. We were down doing the, the World's Fair in Dallas, the, the Centennial, yeah. 19. Uh, 1936. Yeah. Were you paid well in those early days, Roy, <laughs> compared uh, to today when you see those eight? <coughs> you know, I hear these budget. arguments about uh, people quitting uh, a TV show because they're only making 30000 an episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to vomit, you know. <laughs> 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 it, I started starring in my pictures uh, at Republic uh, in 1938 at uh, $75 a week. And I was tickled. That's more money than I ever made before in my life. Of course, that was $30,000 in the old <laughs> days, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I, I, I was there 14 years, and uh, I think I was uh, making about 300 by the time I was there five years. I got number one in box office, and I finally got to making a few bucks on, on the side with commercial tie-ups and personal right. appearances. Over 100 movies and over 100 television shows. Yeah, we did 90 uh, movies and 102 or 3 uh, television series. And then we did a lot of specials. And Were they done quickly, I mean, in comparison to today's uh, oh, well, I, shooting uh, schedules? I had pretty good budgets. I was uh, lucky. Uh, uh, we had one picture one time we went to Las Vegas and we ran the bad weather and we ran into Christmas time. Yeah. And uh, it was the poorest Christmas the crew ever had because they'd, some of them had hit the tables up there and we had to come home because of the weather. We didn't get the picture finished. We came home for Christmas. And it was a very poor Christmas. <laughs> They went back and finished the picture after Christmas. Right. But uh, we, um, we made it in Red Rock Canyon, and uh, it took about four weeks, which is about two-thirds, about three times as long as it normally took to make a picture. And by running into the bad weather, was and it's still, still right, wading in blood in the front office. <laughs> <laughs> was there great camaraderie between all of you in those days, or was it very competitive? Well, it was, we, had the, we were all competitors, but uh, uh, actually, 
we used mostly the same crew. I mean, when Gene was making a picture, I'd be on the road. People think you're real, really buddies and close friends and everything, but we never had a chance. Right. And then when I would uh, come in and uh, take over the same crew and make a picture, uh, Gene would go on the road. So it was that way down through the years with most of the cowboys. I wonder, Roy, having made so many films and so often they're on television, do you ever tune in at home and say, I don't even remember that one? Yeah, I, uh, I have a friend of mine, Snuff, in fact, uh, he makes some, uh, he's got cassettes of a lot of my pictures, so he sent them to me and uh, I run them, and I've actually forgotten some of the scenes we did in them. Right. But, uh, do you remember anything about spoilers of the planes? The bad guys... That's a number. <laughs> in my no. mind, I can't... The bad think. guys steal an experimental rocket. Oh, yeah. That's one of those uh, period pictures. <laughs> <laughs> do you recognize a new breed of cowboys? And if you do, do you approve of them? Um, uh, well, there's, <laughs> there's none around anymore, you know. I outlived most of the others, but right. the new group, uh, there's, uh, right now there's no, uh, there isn't any uh, television shows on right now, cowboys. Occasionally a western in the movies, but usually it's an actor who is... Yeah. Uh, Known for something else. Well, they got to take a rest. Uh, at one time, there were about 65 uh, different uh, series on the air, you know, a few years ago. And uh, you can get too much ice cream. I don't care what it is. And uh, people want to change. Was there a moral to every movie you made? Yeah, the, uh, the old moral story is uh, the good always uh, won out over uh, wrong. Right. right always won out over wrong. And, uh, of course, uh, the good guy... Uh, wore the white hat and the baddies wore the black hats and that was a battle for many many years and all the big pictures of uh, uh, taking charge of the guy in the black hat and putting him in jail giving him a good licking and uh, sending him away right yeah still holds true today with you doesn't it yeah right you held to that philosophy yes i uh think there's uh, a good side and a bad side and i i hope i'm always on the good side <laughs> <laughs> one of these horses is telling us that it's time to leave and we had a roll along here. Thank okay. you, Roy Rogers. Thank you very much. Great Mark. to visit with you.